Okay, today I'm going to add some methyl folate to my CA2 monitor top. Uh, the reason for that is I've replaced the float panel with the capillary tube and I'm trying to optimize the amount of refrigerant. So let's first have a look at the existing cost line. As you can see, it's probably oh, about half an inch up the uh, right hand page of the dashboard. So, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of metal format and see how this changes the cycling time. Okay, so to put the metal formate in, we need a few things. To start with are the scales, uh, so we can see just how much has gone in. And a bottle of metal formate, of course. <coughs> the famous orange colour, which you've all seen on the website. And Bristol Coupe, uh, which should be at a point 0.216. This one isn't, but it's close enough and it works. Alright, so the first thing is to see how much the bottle of metal format weighs. So just place that on the scales. It's already zero, as you can see. Now place the bottle on. Okay, so 1.715 pounds. Um, now I'm going to add about 0.04. So the idea is to put a little bit into the funnel, um, then measure the bottle again and see how much has gone in. Okay, uh, so the next step is to prepare the charge valve for attaching the funnel and putting the metal formate in. Okay, next thing I need to do is take the oil out of the charge valve. Uh, the reason for putting oil in there is to check for leaks. Uh, I last put some metal formate in about a week ago. So I can see there's no bubbles and the oil is still there, so the charge valve is not leaking, which is what we want. So I'll just put some paper towels in just to soak up the oil. Uh, I'm using 4GS refrigeration oil. Uh, you can use sewing machine oil or any other sort of mineral oil like that. Okay, this is what it looks like inside the charge valve. Most of the oil is out now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is loosen the uh, screw just a little bit. Uh, it'll just make it easier when I've got the funnel in position. Okay, what I've got here is a plastic funnel 
uh, which I've cut the nozzle just to make it a tight fit over the top of the charge valve. An uh, important thing is when cutting down a funnel like this is to cut it very gradually because if you have the nozzle so it's too tight it can split and you push it over. So you want a, a fit that's um, tight enough not to leak but not so tight that it splits. Okay, so I'll just gently push that over. Now to uh, put some metal formatting. Alright, now, because it's starting to warm up, I'll open the bottle very slowly because we don't want a sudden uh, release of pressure. It's probably about 23 degrees centigrade at the moment. The boiling point of metal formate is about 32, so we've got no uh, danger of anything nasty happening. Alright, so I'll just put a little bit into the funnel. let this in. Uh, it's going to be sucked in by the, the vacuum inside the filling unit. So, thing to do is to let it in slowly, but not let any air in. So the level of metal format needs to go down just to the top of the charge valve. And no more. Done. Okay, the next thing is to find out just how much we put in. So, scales are zero. Now, before we had uh, 1.715 pounds, so we're going to put the bottom on. Okay, we've got 1.675, uh, which is exactly what we wanted. So 0.04 pounds gone. Right. Okay, next thing to do is remove the funnel and put some oil on the charge valve so that we can see that it's not leaking. I'll just carefully remove this. And if necessary, use the paper towel to soak up any of the formula. Okay, it's just a little bit there. Okay. The metal format is a solvent, among other things. Uh, so it evaporates fairly quickly. If you get it on your fingers, it actually feels a lot like. Um, methylated spirits, uh, the way it evaporates and feels a little bit cool. So I'll just soak up some formate here. No need to be uh, paranoid about it. It's not going to hurt anyone. It's 
probably a good idea to uh, wash your hands after. Next, I'll tighten up the valve uh, just a bit more. Okay. And we've started it up. Put some oil in. When the uh, condenser is running above atmospheric pressure, we should not see any bubbles there. And when it's running below atmospheric pressure, the oil should not be sucked in. Alright, so the next thing to do is to see how the frost line changes. And we get the uh, running cycle. So there you go, that's how easy it is to add metal format to a CA monitor top.